We have a couple of clips. Let me play. This is a Big Bird. Oh, man, this is when he found out Mr. Hooper died. This was oh. cited as one of the most pivotal moments uh, in television and, and one of the absolute most pivotal in uh, children's television when, yeah. when uh, a beloved character passed yeah, yeah. and they had to address it on the show. The actor passed away, yeah. and so they decided to go at it and and, uh, and give it a, a try. And if you didn't know Mr. Hooper, there was a, a shop. It was like a it was essentially a convenience store of sorts. He had food. They had pretty yeah. much everything he could buy, and he was just this great, sweet character. So right. this is it. Where is he? I know. He's in the store. Big Bird, uh, don't you remember we told you uh, Mr. Hooper died? Oh, yeah, I remember. Well, I'll give it to him when he comes back. Mr. Hooper's not coming back. Why not? Big Bird, when, when people die, they don't come back. Ever? No, never. Well, she's gonna come back. Oh man! It won't be the same. This is ripping my Terrible. heart out over here. I better go get the shovel. <laughs> He told me to bury some magazines when he passed. Oh, oh my God. He was his he shovel buddy. Buddy. Stood. <laughs> you what? I never understood. But I guess now I have to bury those two to three hundred magazines he showed me. <laughs> you are ruining my childhood. <laughs> What, what magazines are you talking about, Big Bird? <laughs> they have lots of pictures of women touching each other. <laughs> well, don't tell anyone about that. Hmm. That'll be our secret, okay? <laughs> Too late. <laughs> See, at the time, they didn't have DVDs. Right, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it was all magazines. Uh, just right, magazines. At that point in time. So, yeah, I didn't know he had <laughs> even asked Big Bird to. Oh, that's... I got the shovel. 